e kabo si kono woro nyi wa funto ni ono ro yin ona ni omo borewo saju e gboko ni ro yin wa funto ni professor wole so yin ka ti pe are really the nigeria yin bola me tunubu ni olori kokun professor banji akintoye ti ranse ikini ku odun si gbugbo omo yoruba pata pata nise lo ye ki awon muslimi alakata kikise tin le yoruba ki won wa o kose orilede ile saudi igba keji alaga fun yoruba self determination movement ta mo si ysm otunba oladimola ti ranse ikini si gbugbo omo yoruba pata pata o si gba won ni oro yanju esu ko ki se aseton ona ni ayeye esu de ti awon mo re yan ile yoruba ti won se lati fi yan wi pe esu le yoruba ki se aseton ti awon alawo fun ti won mo wa fun wa yi yo adota wo kuro lori owo irina ti ijoba se fun awon eniyan ti won yo rin ajo lati ile to kan si ile to kan lati lo ba won eniyan won se ayeye odun ona ni o ti se akoba ijamba fun opolopo wa won ayun ni ajo gomina ipinle ondo roti mi akadolu ni o ti je olorun ni pe professor olani pe kon salaye gege bi iwe ofin rile ile yoro ile nigeria se je iwe awuruju ti o sin se akoba fun de basokun de nigeria egbo yon ni ekun rere onoro yin ona ni omo nbori owo professor wole soyinka nlo ti salaye iru eda ti president bola medije Nigba ti o se abewo si ile ijoba to be ni Abuja oni bola medi je olori kokun eda o oni tori pe laarin bi odun marun seyin o ti so fun pe ki o ma dije fun ipe are ko fi ipounle fun odo ti won ni agbara ti won ni okun lati se oni suba ni se ni oko itekun si amara ti o n gba oni di to n se pe ni olori kokun Professor Wallace ni kan sala yoro yi nigba to nba awon royin soro ni ile ijoba to wa ni Abuja My first visit well actually it's an embarrassing visit because when I visited him the last time it was to try and persuade him not to run for office I think I've written about that I told Atiku and himself that they should please leave the ground so young people as the last time we met about 5 years ago and uh I call him secretly Olori Kunku, the stubborn man. So he ignored my advice completely. So I came to see how he was doing after neglecting my advice. Wanted to see if both he and his wife were weathering Nigeria as uh, as well as can be expected and to wish them a happy Christmas. Professor Adebanji Akintoye ti won je alana fun awon ti won ja fun orilede ile yoruba ni won ti ranse ikini ku odun si gbogbo omo ko tojo ile patapata won ranse ikini yi nigba ti won soro lori ero asoro magbesi ile ti amosi yoruba nation radio nigba pade sala yi pe awon ki gbogbo omo leyin christian patapata ati muslimi ati awon lesin abalaye o bi gbogbo wa se nse ajayo odun christmas ati orutun eleyi ti o n bolona yi abasala yi pe oju wa yo ri odun emi wa yo se opolopo odun layo abani ki a lo asiko yi lati fi ran ti pe iso kan ati re po o ona ni o le je ka ye ti de bi ti an lo pe ka mu eleya meya elesin mesin ibare ni ja ibura eni itani okaka mu kuro ninu iwa omo ko to jire o ta gba bi pe iso kan ati re po nikan ni ona bayo ti ori de le yoruba to fi le bo si ni kia kia won si ro gbo gbo awon legbelegbe ni jo ni jo ti won be ninu ijo kokan bi pe ki won ran ti bi pe ki ko da wa ti akoda wa jo si ma awon ajo yi 
o na ni ki a le gbora waye o ka si le ni imo isokan ka le ni okankan lati le fi jirin rin ajo ijangbara ile ti a rin lowo yi be igba keji alaga fun yoruba self determination movement ta ma si ysdm yen otunba ola demola na ko sala iran ise kini ti gbogbo omo yoruba o sala ye ninu atejade le ti aba ti bi pe ki gbo ire po ko joba o si ki gbo mi ra pe aku opo so dun ati odun grace ile to ko ja lo pe gbogbo apapata o o na ni a se opolopo odun laye o o si gbe lorun pe asiko ti o n je igba keja laga yi o n fe je ki asiko n ko je asiko ti iran yoruba ko ni gba gbe to je pe asiko mu o na ni rere re yoruba yo wa se mu se o wa pe ife ati re po laarin gbogbo mi apapata o tori pe o nikan ni ona bayo ta fi le tesuwaju ni se lo ye ki awon amosilomi alakata ki tesin le yoruba ni se lo ye ki won wa wo ko se le saudi arabia lati fi wo nti a ma si wa ti se laarin elesin toku ko se le yo sa je yo latari ayeye odun ele ti le saudi ti won gbe kale fun gbogbo awon elesin patapata ko da ti ti kan ra awon omo won to won je lesin muslimi ni won gba ye ofun o ni se ni saudi se aye 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 ni lai ti won si gbe opolopo awon elere igbalode ti won gbo won wa o ti bi gbe aye aye ohun to si dun to laarin eleyi o na ni igba koko ti a jo sepo idapo ti o wa laarin okunrin ati obirin lai si lai si gburo kan lai si idai si daduro laarin won nigba ti awon obirin si wo aso igbalode eleyi to gbe gbo ara won jade now to Saudi Arabia, and let me say this up front, you should brace yourself for what's coming next for this story. The de facto leader of the Islamic world, the guardian of the two holiest sites in Islam, Saudi Arabia did the unexpected this weekend. It threw a giant rave party, a four-day electronic music festival complete with psychedelic lights and international DJs. The images that you see? They're from Saudi Arabia. This giant rave party was held in the deserts of Riyadh with the blessings and money of the Saudi royal family. That's the House of Saud. They fully endorsed and sponsored this carnival. It was attended by artists from all over the world. Tiesto, Martin Garrix, David Guetta, Afrojack. You name them, the world's leading DJs performed at the rave. Their excitement was evident in their statements. It was the first time that there was going to be women and men being able to dance together and you know that was also a very historical moment and i was happy to be part of this um so you know i think you know uh of course there's more things to be done to uh, uh improve uh the, the the country but i think they are opening and really going to the right direction uh, giving more rights to women, you know, like four years ago, women couldn't drive and now they can come to a David Guetta concert and dance. Uh, you know, it's a, it, it's a huge evolution. It's a huge evolution indeed. Just look at the images and videos from the event. Saudi men and women dancing with abandon, swaying to the beats of Western music. No gender segregation, no full length robes, no face wheels or any religious restrictions for that matter. All of this was unthinkable in Saudi Arabia just a few years back, but now it's happening. And by the way, this rave party comes close on the heels of a film festival, the Red Sea International Film Festival, the first of its kind to be held in Saudi Arabia. It was a star-studded affair. It saw women strutting the red carpet in sleeveless gowns, a woman, a woman filmmaker, winning the Best Director Award, and an openly queer man winning Best Actor. What do you make of these changes? The sands are clearly shifting in Saudi Arabia, it's evident. This socially conservative kingdom is trying to shake off its regressive image. It's limiting the role of religion in public life and pitching itself as a modern, liberal and tourism-friendly kingdom. And this, we say, is welcome change. Although the critics of Saudi Arabia call it a facade, they insist that the Saudi society is not witnessing any fundamental, meaningful change. Is there merit in the argument? Let's try to find out. As all of you know, ever since Mohammed bin Salman was named the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, he's embarked on a liberalization drive. He's loosened 
gender segregation norms. He has reopened cinemas, allowed women to drive, allowed them to enter stadiums, even allowed them to undertake the Hajj without a male guardian. In a way, MBS has defanged the country's religious police that not too long ago would dictate every facet of daily life. And these are all remarkable reforms. They deserve applause. But I have to say, they're also half measures and very late ones at that. Some very problematic issues still persist in the Saudi society. Saudi Arabia continues to arrest dissidents. It continues to ex extend prison terms of activists. It continues to detain the rich over allegations of corruption. There's a constant tinkering of power structures. Arbitrary reshuffling of personnel and lawmakers whom the crown prince sees as potential challengers. Political reform remains a taboo. Yes, women can now drive and it's welcome change, but the activists who demanded this very same change earlier continue to languish in Saudi prisons. Yes, the country has promised to remove the death penalty, but it remains a world leader in capital punishment. Yes, it has tried to improve societal freedom, but it's yet to punish those who made dissidents disappear. So for every reform that Riyadh introduces, there's a crackdown that it fails to justify or undo. You see, transformation of a society cannot happen by piecemeal reform. An image makeover cannot happen by selectively eliminating some ills. If the Saudi leadership is serious about shedding its repressive regrets. <laughs> Olorun ni kan ni gbeje are awon omo ile coach ojire kakere ipinle to nbe nile coach ojire le yoruba o na ni won ti se eye odun esude won si nfi leyi paro wa si gbogbo awon ti won so pe esu ni esu ni pe ki won ma so be ma esu o ki se bi ire o na ni esu ma se won sala ye pe esu ti le yoruba ti se awon baba nla wa ti se ikan lara awon omo iran se olodumare o yato si asetun ile ti awon ibo ti won mo wa fun wa ko da won sala ye pe ka ti bi pelebe ki esogun awon ibo ti won ko wa leru ti won ko wa ni gbogbo nkan lo mo ni wa awon ni won so wi pe angel olorun ni awon suma wa ti won ko leru won wa n pe ni esu won ni se tele yi ko ye ko ti yi omo yoruba wi pe won afe ki a le ja ka le bere ku to pa baba wa lowo won ni won ni latari di eyi o gbogbo omo yoruba baba ta ni won bo logba wi pe esu ki se eni bi ni won bo lo ri esu gege bi eni re gege bi angel ile itu je pe o ni anu loju ti si ma se anu esu ki se bi won ni esu se ti a ba be esu won o na ni esu je won sala yesu wa ju pe idi ti a se pe ni elekun sukun laaro yesu je ni pe to ba ri eni to ba nu je kin se ninu esu na ma n ba je lopolopo ti o si wi pe ah o me dada ma lo ba nu je bayi ona wo lo n si le gba lati le ro eni lekun won ni o na wa bere sinu su ekun se ma wi pe ti eyan ba sun ekun de ibi kan kini yo sele nigba ti o mi o ba jade mo eje ni ku ti o mo jade won ni be ni eje o si mo jade loju la aroye o ko da eni to ni ekun gan ero ba kia o na ni o na yo si dake won ni are mo lekun o na ni esu a ba ni tan soro o na ni esu esu ki se eni bi yi yo ti ijoba orilede nigeria ati won yo adota owo kuro lori owo re na fun awon arinajo ti won yo rinajo lati ilu kan lo si ilu kan lati ileto kan lo si ileto kan lati le se aye opo si odun pelu e bi ati ara won n lo ti mu wahala idamu ati ibangekedani ni se ni ijoba kede bi pe awon yo adota owo kuro lori owo oko ta won yan yo wo ni gbogbo ibudun ko ko ijoba patapata sugbon to je pe eleyi ti won se yi ni se lo tun da ni soro awon eniyan gbogbo awon ti yo wo ko oju orin ta won si train ni won taku ti won ori bi lo elomi ko da ni se lo sun be eleyi ni na lo fa wa lati o bele ni ile bo ni ile dokokan ni bi ti ti awako to ti fa soya ma e olorun latara bi pe ibi ti won lo je 20000 ti apo so pe ohun oni yo to won san won ni won gba ti joba ti yo adota wo kuro lori owo eh 10000 ona ni ye ti ohun yo san eleyi ni lo si fa wala ati gboro kan opolopo awon arajo ni won sun si budoko ti won ori bi lo sugbon eleyi ko lo ye ki ijoba ko se o 
tori pe ebi npa awon eniyan eyan mu ijoba o ba yo owo nje kuro ni se ni ijoba o ba je ki o nje ko subo ara ipo ni se ni ijoba wa na ti bi pe bag of rice kan o ti di 65000 ni bo ni ka won yin o ti rowo sodun ni bo ni ki won ti rowo ra nje opolopo eniyan ni won o lo je nje meta bi ti olede nigeria bi ti eyan to mu de Ikudoro, ikusheka, ikutimu gomina, ikunle ondo, inye rotimi akelu, ikutikwe siyodo. Gomina, ikunle ondo, je olono nipwe latari aisa, wajokwe, je jere, ili tumba wapa mfara. Gomina, ikunle ondo, je olono nipwe ni ojoru, tishi ojoru, weneze, nibi, tiyo tilonshe, ba, itoju, minu, kiyoku. Komisana fun oro yoro yin ati oro agwebe. Ona ni ofi oro nede yinye misis bamedele ademola o lateju. Ni oro sola yupe kipa kudra gomino un je inkampa no je fun yikwile ondo. So si jepe yikwile ondo mwongoli babi gomino un lai lai. Profeso ati uluye ola ni kwa. Ti salaye ege bi iwe e she i joba. Ori li li le nengiri a she je iwe a buru. Ti o si le mou in lo su a ju. Ba ori le jon la i la i. Ba i salaye yoro yu pe iwe a she joba ti a ma si konstitusyan. To le di nengiri an lo yi. To je 1999 konstitusyan. O na ne ka ni o na ba yo. To le di on to file da. A ya fi tu an ba pa i wu an mure. Ti wan si lo e da yo tutun. Le yi to wan ele. Ba on sala yupe, iwe a wu ju, o nan ni wu a wun, ni tori yupe, ni bo ni a wa, ti wan kosi yupe, wu yi, ni bo la ti jok joko, ni bo la ti soro, igba wu, wakati wu, akoko wu, isè ju wu, ni bo ni a ti soro. Wu yi wu yi, ni wu ti a wun lo gun, ti wan kofun alara wan, la ti le fi jek ki a wun a gbe gbe kan, ta bi a wun e yakan, ki wan ni a wun fani, ju a wun toku lo. Wu yi le yi, ko si le mwen lo si waju, bari de nengiri a wu, Kwa yifa se yin la, kuna ni yo mamu ba, kuna di le Nigeria. We have problems in the land. And the problems, I want to say this, I might be, you know, off the cuff, is because of our constitution. How so? Nigeria is not operating any constitution known to honesty, entrenched in group faith, brought about by unanimity of the people, acceptable to federalism, and again, that is also, we also have that problem with the judiciary. Because of the Nigerian situation, we have a unitary system. That's what we run. Hydra headed. Don't let us pretend. And I've said it over and over. And I'll continue to say it. And that's unitarism. has also created to the judiciary. Today, the entire Nigerian judiciary is, is unitarized. The Supreme Court is federal. Federal Court of Appeal, I mean, the Court of Appeal is federal. Federal Court is federal. FCT is federal. National Industrial Court is federal. Customary Court of Appeal or the Federal Court is federal. Sharia Court of Appeal, the Federal Court is federal. All jur jurisdictions. That the kind of their choice of this world, that the putters of this world, that the bailers of this world, when they wind their respective high courts exercised. Making the law to be profound, succulent, rich, exciting. They are now vested in the different federal high court or federal courts. We're talking of how to reform the system. There is no justification in a state, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a nation like Nigeria, purporting 
to practice federalism where even the Supreme Court to be overburdened with unnecessary jurisdiction in respect of land matters from Yoruba land, in respect of divorce, in respect of family matters, chieftaincy matters? How do they know? I don't want us to be deceiving ourselves. Assuming I'm even appointed to the Supreme Court today, I'm above the age, but assuming, and I'm sitting there, and you bring a matter on appeal in respect of Kanuri native law and custom, or Igbo native law and custom, or Igbo land, Igbo land tenure system, and I sit there, and I'm writing judgment. I'm a Yoruba man. What do I know about that? That those kind of cases to stop at the state, either court of appeal or Supreme Court. Go to the United States of America. His state has its own Supreme Court. We are running into trouble. We are inching there, and time is not in our favor. And I'm not tickled by what the National Assembly is doing. They are not being fair to themselves. They are not being fair to us. They claim to be amending the Constitution. What are they, what are they amending? And I want to repeat it. Do you amend something that is not amendable? When you want to amend the Constitution, by the way, Lati, where do you start? You start from the preamble. We the people. Oh, yes. They have to amend it. Why are they running away from it? If they cannot amend the preamble, if the preamble is not amendable, then it means the Constitution is not amendable. Come on. They have to start from it. Do you start reading your letter from the back page? Do you? No, they have to start from the preamble. That means the preamble is fake. We the people. Who are the we? When did we meet? And why can't we do it? I'm studying the constitutions of the world. And I say this also with every sense of humility. There is no constitution that is near as fake, near as deceitful, near as make-believe in nature and in content as the constitution, as the, what we call the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended. me, me, me. to we hear of this. What are they amending? I challenge them and I challenge the National Assembly and they must answer this question. When you are amending, you first, first of all start from the preamble. Because if the people didn't meet and they put it there by the respected or by the, 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 the um, uh, Abdul Salam military government, they say we the people. You must first amend it. If they are going to amend it, what should it say? I wouldn't know. If they, ca they can't amend it, if they cannot amend then let us have a constitution for ourselves. channel <laughs> And now, call to Maria and we're to wa be a bashing she. I must be back way, Latty Bawa, me to ye, Latty Bawa Fiora, your jura say, to the pony can no more at a suadu, titty dear job me, tear out my paddy, or do I yo, woman who go out shall have borrowed loan, our nation, no banuja, or fair on you pay tear bamwako, care mammuti, tear mammuti, care mawako, Bessie, care my salu, go away, eat and belly power at any ado, a sure she, to the pay me and borrowed Odun a o ni ba odun lo gbogbo eyin ti e o se odun padapada ta wa ta jo se je kana ti pe ta ba tun so nuta odun na lo tuku e je ka fi e so se e ma je ka fi pa wa n ti agbara wo ka o n tu ba ka mu wa lowo o na ni ke je ka lo lati fi dun e bi atara ninu mo se ba pe ni agbara olorun olorun yo yi gba ere pada fun eniko kan wa ama ve kana ti pe ka lu akoko yi lati fi bi olorun pe ko lede le yoruba ko daduro tori pe o ni kan ona bayo to le san ta ise Osi, iya ati kanke le itumbawa ni le kotu ojire.